Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm going to do a reading for Taurus. I'm sorry, I'm not even covering it. Taurus. And this will be for an overview for 2021. Um, if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Um, if, you, oh, if it doesn't suit you though, it's just a general reading. It's not going to suit every single person out there. Just be aware of that. Um, so I'm going to do things um, slightly different just because it's an overview. So I'm going to pull one card for the overall energy from this deck. I'll pick one from the romance and then I'll do 12 cards with one tarot deck and we'll get some information and that will just give you information about your each of the each of the 12 months. Anyway, let's start. Don't forget, time is fluid, energy is vice versa. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, Taurus. Okay, one card for the year. I want one, but anyway. do I just want one okay one card for the overview three of abundance now you've got two all about abundance um, you've got three in the eight of abundance in reverse so the three of abundance it talks about your passions leading to your maybe you're going to do something with your divine purpose that you're passionate about do what you love have confidence in your talent learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes getting a mentor teaming up with like-minded people um, so if you've got anything that you want to do that's creative, you could use that to for your life purpose. You've also got the aid of abundance in reverse as well. So that, that talks about um, maybe you need to do some learning of your skills or maybe you already know enough so you don't need to do any, anything more. Maybe it's just telling you that you already know what you know and so now you can focus on um, focus on that. Focus on what you already know and do something that you already know. You don't need to really study anything more. You already know enough. And now it's like do something you enjoy. Do something you're passionate about. Okay, Taurus. 2021 for Taurus. It's all about trust. I might put that over here. So maybe 2021 for you, Taurus, is all about you trusting. Maybe you've had trust issues in the past and maybe it's telling you now you just need to trust and learn to trust. So trust might be that big, big issue for you. Something you've got to work on right now. I just want to pick 12 cards and then we'll quickly go over them. Okay. January for Taurus. Okay. February for Taurus. March for Taurus. For Taurus, just going to take one. It's too many. April for Taurus, too many. May for Taurus, June for Taurus, oops, June for Taurus. July for Taurus. July for Taurus. August for Taurus. September for Taurus. September for Taurus. October for Taurus. November for Taurus and December for Taurus. Okay, so looks like for January on the bottom of the deck you've got something that is probably a distraction, a missed opportunity. There was something that maybe that's why you need to trust. Maybe something didn't turn out the way you'd hoped. 
So for January, love begins is obviously in reverse because as I said, you've probably been hurt. So this is about you being hesitant to open your heart. Maybe you need to be a bit more selfish. The person could have been very ego, uh, like egotistical, it might have been about their ego. Um, so be aware of that. February. Now this is all about material harvest and sacral chakra. Now the reason I chose both of them and left them both out is because your sacral chakra is all about your emotions, your desires, your creativity, your sexuality. Dancing is good for that. Also something like uh, yoga. Um, if you want to use color, orange is the color. So maybe you need to either use crystals. You could do a guided meditation to, to help balance your sacral chakra or, just, or it's just letting you know because it's upright that it's being affected. Um, and that's probably because it's all about your emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. So no, you do matter. And maybe that's something that you need to be reminded of is that you do matter. So you've been hurt, but do remember you, you do matter. Now, your material harvest in reverse is also about self-worth. And that's why I left them both out. Because you probably have been hustled in the past and now you now you need to now focus on your self-worth. So as I said, your emotions are probably all over the shop. You have been hurt, so probably that's why. February is all about you working on you. March, victory and success with the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is about success, self-confidence. So maybe you're feeling a bit more self-confident. You can get out there. You can make progress. You might do something to get some public recognition, but it's all about victory and success, which is great. April, they might have some obstacles and challenges. Um, with the Five of Wands, so this is all about conflict, disagreements. There might be competition, tension. You might be going through court, maybe with somebody you don't know where you stand. May, authority, which is the same as the Emperor card. The Emperor card is all about um, making a strategic plan, having a lead, like being a leader in your own life, taking back your own power. It could be somebody who is a father figure, um, but it's all about respect, um, structure, all that kind of thing. But maybe, maybe the gist of it is that in May you take back your own power, um, you make a plan for your life. May is uh, the magician, so here you are manifesting what you want. You can turn your vision into reality. It's about taking inspired action, taking back your own power, knowing your power, um, but yeah, mainly manifesting, um, and turning whatever it is you want into reality. You need to stand your ground in July. So standing your ground with the seven, there's a lot of wands. Wands are all about creativity, fiery, passionate situations. So maybe you need to stand your ground. Um, this is also, you could feel like you're in, you're in competition with somebody, um, you need to persevere, you need to protect your heart, protect yourself. You might be feeling defensive, but yeah, as I said, stand your ground. Um, August, I feel like you need to speak your truth. So this is um, obviously blue, so if you feel like you need to, you want to do something with colour, blue is the colour of your throat chakra. So your throat, that's also... Um, you can do things like humming, chanting, singing. Um, if you have something to say, then don't keep it in. Make sure you actually do say it. Um, that's very important. So that's with your throat chakra in August. With September, um, you've got the waiting game in reverse, another wands. So this is you fearing the unknown. Maybe, as I said, you have a lack of plan. Um, you haven't made a plan for your life. You haven't made a plan for whatever this is. Um, it could be impatience, maybe you've got some inner conflict going on, but it's like things could happen quickly as well. Just be aware of that. Uh, October, you've got movement, choices and decisions. Two of pentacles. So there might be options for you or choices for you to make. There might You might be weighing up options. You might be juggling people, juggling situations. Maybe you need time management, maybe between work and a balance between work and life, your everyday life, all that sort of stuff. Any of that is there's big options and choices that need to be made in October. November, you have some either mental clarity about a situation, 
you see the truth, speak the truth, get justice, have a breakthrough, it can mean success. It can also mean you have some sudden opportunity and a fresh start. It could also mean a communication, somebody communicates saying they like you and it's a new relationship. And December, we have fulfillment of wishes in reverse. So maybe what's your health in December? It can also be about you feeling very dis dissatisfied. Um, I just want to get a few cards just to clarify a few of them. So tell me, we'll start with the fulfillment of wishes. Tell me why fulfillment of wishes is in reverse. So maybe now is not the right time for something and you also need to do some self-healing. Maybe you haven't done some self-healing up until this point. Um, you have the chariot. So you've got to take action, willpower, be determined to make a change, to be successful. So maybe you need to do that. Um, You've also got the moon card. So trust your intuition. There might be things going on behind the scenes. Um, see past the illusion if someone's put up. So maybe it's got to do with somebody being not who they say they are. As I said, you get some clarity about a situation. Um, maybe with this same situation, maybe you start a relationship, but it's not successful. Tell me about this relationship, this ace of swords in November. Yeah, I feel like you start a relationship, but you need to detach from somebody because this person could have devil sort of um, energy, um, maybe also release any limiting beliefs you have about yourself if you start a relationship, but it could also be about um, detaching from somebody who has the devil energy. So whether they are have addictions, drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, obsessed, with things, greedy, envious, materialistic, all those things. Just be aware. Um, what are the choices that you've got to make in October for Taurus? So whether you decide to make a choice to be alone or whether you make a choice, and there might be choices between somebody and being alone, but... You could, it could be about you having independence, being independent. It could also be about spending time alone and maybe someone's gossiping or it could, the situation could involve three people. Um, you have whatever you, whatever it takes though to get through this situation. Um, what do you need to speak your truth about with the throat chakra? Tell me about that. So somebody may have done something that is not okay um, with the Seven of Swords. That could be something really dishonest. Um, and maybe they hope to get away with it. And so you're speaking your truth about that situation. The Eight of Wands in reverse as well. Um, maybe there's either miscommunication, violence, or somebody you're not talking to this person at the moment. And that's why you need to speak your truth. Um, what are the obstacles up here in April? No, yes, in April. Tell me about the obstacles in April. Maybe the obstacles and challenges, maybe the conflict, or you don't know where you stand, is with somebody who is like the King of Cups, or you see them as the King of Cups. Somebody who's very empathetic, supportive, stable, um, emotionally balanced, all those things. Um, maybe because they have other, they're giving to multiple people or there's or they're, they are very attractive to other people, something like that. Um, I feel like they're probably giving to other people. So there may be obstacles and challenges in what you hope. Um, what do you want to manifest in June? Manifesting. You don't want, with the tower in reverse, it's like you working on you, um, 
and also you're doing some personal transformation you're fearing the change um, so you may be manifesting what you had before you don't want to change whatever is going on in your life at the, that time and also the lovers it looks like you're trying to manifest something regarding your love life and you don't want to change it um, what are you going to be standing your ground on You're being, you're protecting your heart and stand, feeling defensive. You're feeling like you're in competition, which makes sense. If there's other people, they're giving to other people. But you need to nurture you. But at the moment, you're you're dependent on other people. So you need to stand your ground. But you are codependent. Um, so just be very careful. You need to keep persevering. If there's something you need to stand your ground on. Yeah, as I said, you have everything inside you to get through this situation. But anyway, that's what I wanted to, to find out. But thanks for watching. I hope it does resonate with you. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks. Bye.